Hey, this is Scott at GutterGrowIt.com. I gotta tell you, I'm thrilled that you're checking out my video. I got some stuff I wanna share with you uh, about uh, you know, making uh, raised beds, building raised beds. Uh, some people have asked, you know, how, how do you go about doing that? And there's a lot of different ways that you can do it, but I wanna show you just one of many ways and different ways that I've done it. This one's a pretty simplistic way. It's a stable way, and uh, I think you're gonna be amazed how easily and really how cheap that you can really pull this thing off. But before I get into all of that, because I'm, I wanna show you not only the grow box, putting the grow box together, I wanna show you my compost and my soil that's going to go into the grow box because you're going to want to know about that too. You can't just throw anything in that grow box. You can't just go scraping up some dirt somewhere. You want to be able to get it. If you're taking the time to build a good quality, you know, raised bed in a box that you're going to put everything in, you want some pretty good soil. For, for one bed, you're going to need eight pieces of a two by four. Let me just show you what I got here. What I've done is I've taken this two by four and I've marked off every 10 inches a spot here to go ahead and cut my uh, 2 by 4 and I want to show you what I'm going to do with that. One 2 by 4 is like under 3 bucks, like $2.97, okay? So what I do at Lowe's is I buy one board, one 2 by 8 by 12 feet and I have Lowe's cut it for me in half. This was once one board, it's now two 6 foot boards. Now what I'm doing is, is that I'm going to make a 3 by six bed, okay? And uh, because I think that's a much more, it, it's a better manageable size bed. A four by eight, although you can get a lot of good stuff in there. For those of us who are kind of challenged with our height or our arm length or our big bellies or whatever it is, uh, it's a little hard to get in there on a four by eight, but a three by six, you could anywhere you're standing around that box, you could reach in pretty easily. Even those of you that are kind of short with those little arms, you'll be able to do it. So a three by six, Pretty manageable size, easy to build, okay? So, all right, so I've got my one board that's a 12-footer. I have Lowe's cut it in half for me. I'm not even doing the work on that. So I've got my two six-foot boards. Then, I got them right over here. Let me come around here. I'm still buying the 12-foot boards, and what I'm doing, because I'm making several beds, I then take one of the 12-foot boards. Um, these are three-foot pieces, okay? And so I have Lowe's cut one 12-foot board into um, four pieces. So that's enough to build, those four pieces is enough to build two beds, because then I'll show you what I'll do with these smaller pieces. We'll put these here for right now. So all you're gonna do is, I've got things already marked here. You're not a carpenter, okay? Things don't have to be perfect. I'm not saying, you know, do it with one eye open, but I'm saying it doesn't have to be a perfect cut or even a perfect measurement. But I did, you know, measure them out at 10 inches. And so here we go, I'm gonna just do a cut here. So. You're gonna cut your two by four, get your 10 inch pieces, and I'll show you what we're gonna do with that. Oh, by the way, you need to get some screws. And you wanna get some galvanized screws. They have coated screws, but galvanized would be the thing to ask for. Um, I'm using two and a half inch screws, and you're gonna need a total of, let me see, it's a two, four, uh, six, eight. You're gonna need a total of eight screws per corner. So you're gonna need 32 screws to build a box, okay? All right, so what you're doing is, is you're taking the two two by fours and you're gonna just put them together, okay? Now I am gonna match them up and maybe if they're not cut perfect, which probably they won't be if you're anything like me, but they'll be close. But what I try to do is at least keep one end flush. So you come in, you take your drill, you just, I just sort of try to center it so it goes into the middle part of this three foot board because you don't wanna crack anything, okay? And so I just sort of set it up, get it in place, Come in, you know, maybe about an inch, inch and a half down on the six foot board. And I just drill that baby in there. And then I do it again on the bottom because I want to put two screws in here, okay? And that's what we're going to do. So from there, got my screws, got my second drill. Look at this. I mean, you, you just don't lose any time, you know what I mean? Kind of, whoops. Here we go, that'll be nice in my tire, won't it? Anyway, so here we go. So you get your screw in here, get lining up with that hole. You're gonna be amazed, you're gonna be amazed how easy it is to build a three by six uh, box for your raised beds. Okay. The box is built, we got all four corners are screwed in together, two screws on each corner. Remember, jog those corners, okay? There'll be more integrity. Now what we're gonna do is take these two by fours that we did, 10 inches, right? We know we're looking at an eight inch board, so we're gonna have about a two inch uh, 
you know, overlap. It's, it's going to stick up two inches. I'm actually working the box upside down. It'll make sense to you in a minute. So what I want to do is I want to position this into the um, into the corner um, of this box, and I'll give you another. I'm going to come in. Going to hold this corner flush and use a little bit of elbow grease, elbow grease, strength, a little bit of elbow strength. Ah. And then we're going to do two on this side. It's going to be so easy to do this. I'm telling you, you're going to be amazed. You can show off to everybody about, hey, how you made your own, your own little grow boxes, your raised beds, you know. I mean, already, already I'm excited. I mean, we don't even have soil in this thing yet, and I can imagine all the stuff that's going to grow in this box. Can't you imagine the same thing? Oh, I'm so glad you're doing this. I mean, to take the energy and the time to create something that you're going to put good quality soil in so that you get to control your environment. Oh, speaking about the environment. So notice that I'm just using straight pine. It's pretty cheap stuff. Man, don't be using pressure treated stuff. What are you thinking if you're like, oh, it'll last longer in the garden. That stuff's loaded with a bunch of junk in there. You don't want that leaching into your garden stuff that your food is going to grow in. Now, if you want something and you're willing to pay a little bit more, uh, cedar would be uh, an optimal uh, wood. It would last a little bit longer, okay? But I'm telling you that even this, this pine, this is a soft wood. You're not going to be moving this thing around all the time. Once you set everything in place, once you get these corners to sink into the ground, and this thing is held together in place pretty solid, as you can see that we're doing here, this thing will last five, six, seven years easy. Just don't disturb the box. You get in there, you move the soil around year after year, you can condition the soil year after year, and there's no junk coming out of this wood that's going to you know, leach into your into your garden, into your vegetable garden, and you're not going to consume that stuff. See? See what's great about this? You get to control absolutely everything about what you're going to eat out of your garden. Ah, just think it's great. I'm inspired. So then you get that last one screwed in. You pull your bed out. Look at this. You pull your bed out, and you are ready to go. Listen. This is what it's all about. I don't want to touch this stuff in my gloves, man. I want to get my hands in this stuff. I got two piles. Here's some good quality organic compost. Look at this stuff. I mean, it's filled with, you know, things that used to live, you know, like twigs and, and uh, you know, old leaves and all kinds of good stuff that's decomposed. That's, there's your organic compost. And then, let me just break this up. This is just some good, clean, quality soil. And you can see there's just a good blend, you know, there's a little sand in there and stuff like that, but it's a good blend of some good organic matter as well. And what you can do, if you want, if you want optimal, if you want it the best that you can get it, I do a 50-50 on this. 50% good organic quality compost and 50% of good clean soil. Mix these babies together and you'll have the best start for your grow box than you've ever had. Thanks for checking out my video. Peace out.